Hello everyone. So in previous video we have seen how to perform a copy data activity but this time we are going to see if you have a data that is available outside of your one leg then how actually you can copy a data. So my requirement is like my data is available in a Azure SQL DB. Here my data is available in a Azure SQL DB. Suppose customer data is available. Now what actually I want? I want to copy this data from the SQL DB to the lake house. Lake house I want to copy. I want to copy in the form of the parquet, parquet or you can copy in a JSON also based on your need you can copy that. I show you both the things. So what actually we have to do? We have to copy a data which is available in Azure SQL. We have to copy in the lake house as a parquet or the JSON format. So let's see how actually we can perform a copy data activity here. So first thing we will try to set up Azure SQL. We will first try to set up Azure SQL. And in Azure SQL, we will try to create a table and that table actually whatever the data we have right, we will try to copy into the lake house. So let's try to do that. Now I open a portal.azure.com. What actually I am going to do? I am going to create a SQL database. So search for the SQL database. You will see this. Click on that. We are going to create a SQL database. So select that. After that, you have to select your subscription. You have to select your resource group. So I have already created a resource group. I will select that. If you haven't created, you can click on the create name and you can create the resource group. After that, the database name you have to give. I will give the database name as a POCDB something. After that, we have to create a server also. So let me give the name as a POC server. POC server and it should be unique. And uh, I will select the location also, the region also. I am going with the East US 2. After that you have to select the SQL authentication so that you will be able to log in in a SQL DB. So I will give the admin name as well as the password. Click on the OK. So what actually we are doing first we are creating a SQL database. There we will be having a table and that data actually we will try to copy into the fabric lake house. So that's why we are creating a, a SQL database. So after that click on the OK. Select the development one. And after that, this one, this computer and storage, it is important. Make sure you use the minimum one only. You can see this is the general purpose. You can go with the basic one and you can select the minimum one so that you will be charged very less. Click on the apply. Local redundant backup storage. Click on the next. Uh, public endpoint, we want to give access. Click on the yes. Click on the yes. Click on the next. Start free trial now and after that click on the next. We want to have a you can see use existing data. So if you select the sample right you will get few of the tables data already in the SQL database. So we are going with the sample one. Click on the next. Click on the review and create. Click on the create. So it is going to create one SQL database for you. Now you can see deployment is completed. Click on the go to resource. We have created one uh, SQL database. Now we will try to login. So click on the query editor here. We will pass the login and the password. So let me pass the password which I have set up. Click on the OK. Now you can see I am able to open the SQL database. In left side you can see we have a couple of tables. So if I will show you one of the table. We can use any of the table but uh, what actually I want to show you. I want to show you the table data. So suppose this is the customer data I have. If I run this. This is the data we have. What actually I want to do. This particular data I want to copy in a, our lake house in a fabric through a data pipeline. Now what actually I want to do. Whatever the data is available in this particular table right. I want to copy in a destination lake house. I want to copy in a destination lake house. So in a data factory we have created one of the lake house right destination lake house. Here only I want to copy a data. So how actually we can do that for that we have to create a pipeline. So I will go to the workspace. I will go to the data factory workspace. Now we are going to create one data pipeline. So click on this new item. Click on the data pipeline. We are going to create one pipeline for that. Click on the create. After that click on the pipeline activity. We want to do a copy data. So select that copy data. Now after that you have to select the source and the destination. So I will go to the source. 
first we have to give the connection so click on the more what is your data so from here you have to select so my data is azure sql database i will select that after that we have to pass the server and the database name so in a sql database in a azure right go to the overview option click on the ok now this is the server and this is the database name how to give this server name what you have to do click on this server copy this come here you can see in this pattern we have to give server dot database dot windows dot net click on this server dot database dot windows dot net this is the server and after that you have to give the database name what is our database name here this is the database we have created so give that database after that create a new connection this is the connection name and uh, this one we will go with the basic you have to pass the username and the password so let me pass the username and the password which we have set up and click on the connect you can see it is connected that and if you want to test the connection click on the test connection if it is succeed means you are able to successfully able to connect the sql database otherwise you have to check your setting you can see connection is successful now in the table right which particular table you want to copy i want to copy this customer so i'll select the customer now coming to the destination in a destination where you want to copy so i'll go to the more option go to the one leg catalog because i want to copy here i want to copy in the destination i want to copy as a file so i'll select the file file path so let me give the name as a customer i want to create one folder so that's why i am giving the file path as a customer so it is going to create one folder customer and there only it will copy and i want to copy in the form of which particular format so if you want to copy in a json format you can select the json if you want to copy in a parquet you can select the parquet so let me see the let me save as a json so i select the json once you do this right after that our pipeline is ready what you have to do you have to validate it click on the validate no issue here close it now after that we will try to run it click on the run save and run click on the save and run it will read the data from a sql database it is going to copy in a one lake data lake house as a json file you can see it is succeed now means our pipeline ran successfully now if you want to see the data right what actually you can do go to the one lake in a one leg we have a destination lake house right here only we copied so select that click on the open now click on the refresh you can see customer one folder got created click on this you can see sales lt customer dot json this particular file is available now whatever the data was available here right in a sql db that got copied into this particular location in a json format so like this actually we can perform a copy data i hope you got the idea